It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's 16 minutes past eight. You can see it on the clock. And tonight um, I went outside and clapped for the NHS. Give them a big clap, give them a big cheer. There were fireworks going off, lots of people on their doorsteps. And it was a bit kind of like war-like, you know, like everybody getting together again. I bet there's people out there that don't even know their neighbours and and everyone's out there clapping for what's going on uh, at the moment. Um, this is Siren Craft Brews Dark and Perilous Nights, um, reviewing this in April 2020. Uh, it's a barrel-aged Imperial Dark Ale coming in at 12.4% ABV. There's the bottle cap. It's a 375 milliliter bottle. Oh, it's a, it's a collaboration with Jay Wakefield. I've had a few beers from Jay, Jay Wakefield. They're absolutely tremendous. And I tell you what, they were, they were Imperial Stouts or Imperial Porters. Absolutely fantastic. I was in Brewski Val in 2019, August 2019. And I was speaking to the guys from Jay Wakefield Drinking their Imperial, reviewing their Imperial styles. Have a look on YouTube with the videos. Um, that's that's nice. I didn't know going into this 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 beer review that it was actually a collaboration. Right, here we go then. So I'm going into this beer review. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is a little cheers to to all the NHS workers out there that that are, that are working so hard um, without masks. And without any proper PPE and without any real explanation as to as to why other than excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse so this is a cheers to them uh, my wife works in a pharmacy so I mean if it's gonna do the rounds this whole thing then um, likely it is he's going to bring it home and I'm going to catch it and the kids are going to catch it. So uh, I'm living day by day. I really am living day by day at the moment. Um, I'm not a drama queen. I'm not a, a like a, somebody who worries too much, I suppose. I think I drink too much to worry. I think I drink so much that I just climatise myself and go to sleep all night. Um, the nights, The nights I don't drink. The nights I don't drink, they're the nights that, yeah, I lay there on the pillow, kind of like this, awake at night. And, and I think that's the reason why I've gone, I'm just going to have a drink. Just forget about it and just get on with it and, and just go to sleep. Um, yeah, so, cheers to everybody. Uh, Jack Black beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation. Looks like the beer's got good body to it. Nice one finger tan coloured head. A little bit of haze going on in there. Nice carbonation at the bottom of the glass. Let's get the aroma. I've got a temperature. You can see I've got a temperature tonight. You can see my big red rosy cheeks. And you just wonder, don't you? Just like, I've been outside, it's freezing cold. I've come back in, I'm boiling hot. I've been boiling hot all afternoon. I don't know. Just gotta live. It's not gonna stop me drinking. Bit like Bovril. Do you know that combination of, of oak and whiskey and dark ale they've called it? I'm going to call it an imperial stout. It gives a combination sometimes with all of these flavours crammed together of, of like almost like a beefy Bovril. It smells good. Or like like burnt gravy on a pan. Or when, you, when you're when you stirring the gravy and some gravy goes on your cooker. And it burns in and you kind of get that kind of like, but that burnt gravy aroma, flavour. But it smells good. A little bit of tobacco smoke. So maybe a smoked whiskey barrel. Um, what, what are those? What are they called? As, um, oh, the as something whiskey barrels that I can't think off the top of my head. Smoked, smoked whiskey barrels. Chocolate coffee caramel. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. 
ha 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 ha
Pizza Express and Nando's and the Gourmet Burger Kitchen uh, because they're all closed. All these restaurants are closed. So Walker's Crisps thought, we'll make we'll make pizza flavored crisps and you know just to keep people people going, I suppose. And um, where am I going with this story? Because I've forgotten. I was in home bargains. Oh yeah, and. Um, I seen four cans of Thwaites Dark Mild and I went Arr! the claw went down and then the claw went Arr! and I, I didn't bother I was, I, you know my mind was going I haven't reviewed that beer I better review that beer nah I can't be bothered it was three I, I, cause I was, when I was bending over to pick up the cans it said 3.5% ABV and I thought it's just not worth it. Whenever of a dark ale been, pardon me, 3.5% ABV. This is what a dark ale should be. 12.4% Imperial strength. Right. Description, if I can stop hiccuping for a minute or burping or whatever I was doing. An extra extraordinarily collaboration with Florida's Jay Wakefield. Expect rich aromas of dark sugar and toffee with a comforting chocolatey fudge flavour profile. Warming spirit complexity and a slick mouthfeel. Absolutely amazing. Ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, oats, muscovado, probably sugar, hops and yeast. Amazing. Terrific. Terrific, terrific. The muscovado sugar is that sweetness that's just balancing everything out. It's not making things lean over too far to one side to, the, to being too bitter. The hops and the roasted malt want to take it over to being too bitter. The muscovado sugar really does pull it back in a very nice direction. I'm going to rate it. Going to rate it and I'm going to give it. This is a, for me a 10 out of 10 beer. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.